Oh, God of Every Nation. It's in our ELW 713. Um, interesting background. Okay, during World War II, um, William Reed Jr. Uh, served in the Army Medical Corps, and he was captured in Germany. And later, though, he did graduate from Yale Divinity School, became a Methodist pastor in North Dakota and Pennsylvania. Okay, the... Hymn Society of America, along with the National Council of Churches, held a contest to write a new hymn, and Reverend Reed submitted O God of Every Nation, and he won first prize. And it, a lot of it is because his text combined personal experience, theological understanding, and he was just a good poet. Well, this song was introduced in... Um, 1958, and that's when the world was still reeling from the end of Hitler's final solution, which was going to be nuclear bombs. And then also in the 50s, remember, um, we saw the horrors of the Korean War and heightened tensions of the Cold War. And citizens of the U.S., we built bomb shelters and had air raid drills. Well, Reverend Reed, of course, knew firsthand the cost of war, and he, he could look past the disguise of flags and parades and all that. So in his hymn, we sing, Keep bright in us the vision of days when war shall cease and heal our strife-torn world. As you go through these four verses, I mean, you're just going to relive the era he lived in because it just fits. It's like reading a chapter book, but it also, of course, applies today or it wouldn't be a hymn that's as relevant today. This is great stuff. Okay, the tune. Langenhofen is the tune published in 129 hymnals. This is really a 19th century Welsh folk song. They don't know who wrote it, but in this song, in this arrangement, there are two diminished chords, which brings on a sense of urgency. The, the thing is a whole minor thing, but then it brings on these two chords, and it, it kind of just makes it more colorful. The whole tune moves along with strength and purpose. Really befitting, O oh God of every nation. Oh! 